I am James McAvoy, and I play Dennis, and Barry, and Patricia. Don't worry. And Hedwig. My name's Hedwig. I have red socks. And Orwell. And Muhammad, of course, conquest between 1192 and 1200. And Jade. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. He can't handle reality. All the characters in this movie are, are challenging in themselves, but having to play all of those characters, sometimes in the same shot, has been the biggest challenge. Not just playing them individually, which is a challenge sort of in itself, but also an audience will buy you as one character, hopefully, and then you've got to go, forget that, now buy me as this next person. And to make that transition interesting and to make that part of the fun of the movie, but not make that alienate the audience, that's my job. My name's Hedwig. I have red socks. He's on the move. What? <laughs> He's on the move. <gasps> Someone's coming for you, and you're not gonna like it. You guys make noises in your sleep. Tell us. I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> but he's done awful things to people, and he'll do awful things to you. I have blue socks, too. Where's food? <laughs> How old are you? Nine. So you're not the guy that took us? No. You're not the lady. What are you, blind? You don't know how they think. No, they don't, they don't tell me much. I just ate a hot dog. Could you help us, Hedwig? No, I'm, I'm not even supposed to be here. I stole a life from Mr. Dennis, but he'll be back real soon. I, I can't steal a life for too long, or he'll know and get angry, etc. See ya. Wait. We heard something. We didn't understand it, but now we do. know what we heard? What did you hear? Come here. I'll whisper it to you. Okay. You're a big fibber. I never lie, Hedwig. But, but Mr. Dennis, he said that he followed those two girls for four days and that he knew that they were the ones that, that, that he would want. When you're not around, Dennis and the lady talk about it. They talk about how he wants a boy this time. They're going to give him you. No, no Miss, Miss Patricia, she said, she says she's not mad at me anymore. She, she sings to me sometimes. I think Miss Patricia's still a little mad at you. Miss Patricia thinks I'm... She thinks I'm stupid. She's, she thinks I make silly mistakes. Look at me. We're like your babysitters. I'll let you watch TV and make you a fun dinner. We all need to get out of here. Show us the way out. We could be gone before anybody gets back, but 
We have to hurry, Hedwig. We have to hurry and get out of here. Wait, wait a minute. It took forever to get this place safe without the nosy bodies that work here finding out. You can't get out of here. I have to blow my nose. No, no, wait, please don't talk. Shoot the target. You're crazy. I'm a tough like you, talks French and everything, ends up a private. Not eligible for officer training if you join direct from prison. <laughs> You're pulling my teeth. No, I'm not. They gave me a choice, stay in prison or join the army. If on the record, the last thing I am is a tough. I'm sorry I'm late, I got lost. Hello. Hello. Shall we sit down? Yes, of course. Where are you living? Tiny flat in Bellum. It's ghastly. The landlady's rude and horribly nosy. You look the same, apart from the uniform, of course. So I'm sorry, I've got to go back to the hospital in half an hour. Oh, God. with your family? No, I told you I wouldn't. Leon waited outside the hospital last week. I just pushed past him. See, you don't owe me anything. Robbie, didn't you read my letters? Had I been allowed to visit you, had they let me every day, I would have been there every day. Yes, but if all we have rests on a few moments in a library three and a half years ago, then I'm not sure. Robbie, look I at me. I don't know. If... Look at me. Dearest Cecilia, 
dearest Sicilian. <laughs>